Loch Monster, Lauren Boebert of Colorado won her primary last night. I believe Boebert is one of the biggest MAGA morons ever elected to public office, and it's because of comments like this. The church is supposed to direct the government. The government is not supposed to direct the church. That is not how our founding fathers intended it. And I'm tired of this separation of church and state junk that's not in the Constitution. It was in a stinking letter, and it means nothing like what they say it does. Okay, well, let's think about that, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Because I tend to be skeptical about getting constitutional law advice from a human tramp stamp. <laughs> they frequently tend to skip right to the Second Amendment. And if you bother to read the First Amendment, the very first words are, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. So it seems pretty clear that the government wants nothing to do with religion. Secondly, if you're so keen on what the Founding Fathers thought, one thing they definitely thought is that women should shut the up in public <laughs> and not vote and not be elected to Congress. Your buddy Thomas Jefferson wrote, governments are instituted among men. So unless you have a <laughs> the founding fathers don't care what you have to say. <laughs> but Lauren, I don't think you do have a <laughs> do you? I know your husband does because he allegedly showed it to some young ladies in a bowling alley just like Jesus <laughs> Take a moment to remember that the founding fathers were a bunch of toothless dudes who took shadoobies in their backyard, <laughs> thought that their wives were property, and wanted to protect guns that fired marbles and took 11 minutes to reload. <laughs> and since we're paraphrasing Jefferson's letters, he said, Nothing is so disgusting as a woman who isn't clean. Google it. <laughs> and while you're there, Google Lauren Boebert diarrhea. <laughs> And you will learn that this dumbass owned a restaurant that served uncooked pork sliders at a rodeo, which gave dozens of people diarrhea. <laughs> That's how Lauren forces people to pray. They cry out, please, God, stop me from making explosive diarrhea poo-poo in this rodeo porta body. Okay, first off, I have to note that this is from Jimmy Kimmel last month, but it's had a pretty monumental resurgence online this week, so I figured, why not offer it up here as well? And not surprisingly, everything that Chelsea Handler said about Lauren Boebert is still true. Now, this isn't the first time that Boebert's made clear her desire to turn the US into a theocratic state. Uh, maybe we need to have some sort of legislation that requires Constitution Alive and biblical citizenship training in our schools. Uh, and, and that's how we get things turned around. Uh, but there, there has to be real leadership from the Republicans, especially now. The ultimate irony, of course, is the person who erroneously claimed that the Constitution establishes no separation between church and state is also the one to demand that you have to take some type of a constitutional test. Because, of course. If I could, I'd probably recommend that the first question on Lauren Boebert's little citizenship slash biblical test be, what does Article 6 of the Constitution say? And, of course, the answer would be, quote, no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. Just, you know for starters. And Boebert is just one of a number of Republicans who've recently started saying the quiet part out loud when it comes to this recent lunge toward the far right and Christian nationalism. Uh, we need to be the party of nationalism and I'm a Christian and I say it proudly, we should be Christian nationalists. So the left is extremely threatened by a, an idea of Christian nationalism because they know they cannot win, they cannot beat it. It, it defies everything that they are. In other words, the same party that spent our entire lifetimes falling over itself pretending to be these defenders of the Constitution, when actually given the opportunity to defend the Constitution in practice, instantly discard the Constitution and instead embraces what they actually care about, which is Christian nationalism. It is imposing Christian extremism on the rest of the population, which is not only not what the Constitution says, it's actually diametrically opposed to the Constitution. Meaning that all of those years and years and years of grandstanding about defending the Constitution was bullshit. Just lazy cover to present themselves as patriots when clearly their actual goal was the destruction of the Constitution and the imposition of Christian 
fascist rule. That is what it looks like when the mask comes off. So when these Republicans come out and pretend that they're here to protect the values of this country, that is a lie. They are here to impose their religious views onto you. They're here to proselytize you. They're here to tell you that if your religion isn't their religion, then you have no place here. Most of us watched The Handmaid's Tale and saw some dystopian fiction. Republicans watched it and saw a blueprint. So it's clear that the Lauren Boberts of the world are trying to normalize this idea of Christian nationalism. It is not normal, and it's not American. If she wants to practice Christian nationalism on her own, that's her prerogative. But part of living in a free country is that the rest of us are free from your religious views being imposed onto us. So if she's not happy with that idea, an idea that constitutes the foundation of this country, as Republicans like to say, she's free to leave. Before you go, couple things. First, if you want to support my work, the best way is to subscribe to this channel. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. And second, if you want to see and hear more from me, check out my website, bryantylercohen.com. That way you can get links to my podcast, merchandise, ways to donate to voting rights organizations, and so much more. The thumbnail is also right here on the screen, so go check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching.